big lead and, and really uh, continued to pour that on and continued. Now, maybe later in the game, he suffered a little lapse in the fourth quarter, but yeah. it was one of those where it really wasn't that bad tonight, but you were able to really kind of keep the pedal to the metal most of the game, it seemed. Yeah, and I think uh, the other piece of it was we were, you know, speaking to the fourth quarter, I mean, we were playing in the combination that were four right. freshmen and sophomore out there, so I don't know that it's going to be necessarily smooth all the time, but, uh, you know, they need to get their minutes, they need to get the opportunity to play, and they need to get to play together. Um, so I, I was pleased with that. But, you know, most most importantly, the biggest thing for us was that, you know, coming out of the, out of the St. Louis game, we played really hard and played well for three, three quarters, and then the fourth quarter was just kind of a, you know, it was a bad quarter. Um, and for us to come back and, and, and jump on them early, play well, uh, I think it really speaks to, to what it is they want to do. Uh, now we've just got to keep focused on, on how we got to do this uh, every day, every quarter, all four quarters. Yeah, tonight you had 25, obviously, from Michaela with uh, a good performance, 9 of 14 from the floor. Yep. Uh, she kind of led the way for you. I know there were other players that chipped in, but they were kind of following her lead, eight assists and, and just a big night, three steals from her tonight. So, Yeah, you know, I mean, I think Michaela – has had something to prove since the very beginning of the year. I mean, you know, she's felt like she's uh, one of the best guards, and I felt like she's one of the best guards in, in our league and, and really never gotten a whole lot of recognition. And I think every time she walks out there, she's got a chip on her shoulder. And, um, you know, I think you're going to see these type of numbers. I don't know that all of these be 25, but to have 25 points and eight assists and no turnovers is, is quite an accomplishment. And tonight, uh, Jade Hines-Clark is 6 of 12 shooting. Yeah. She had a tough night shooting against St. Louis. Yes. We've talked about her before, uh, you know, 13 points and four rebounds. She's got everything right to the point of finishing. Yeah. Big post moves, strong moves inside, can really move, and, and just needs to finish. And tonight she kind of took a step in that direction. Maybe. You know, she's so fast and so quick, and she doesn't understand her own quickness. And she shoots the ball a lot of times before she even looks at the rim. And, and tonight, I honestly believe this, I think it was the first night, first shot she had where she actually had an and one, where she made it and got fouled. A lot of times she's looking for the foul, or, you know, she's throwing it up there before she gets fouled. And, and tonight we've really – I mean, she's worked, she literally worked with Tina in, in the last two practices by herself uh, on just trying to get the ball up on the rim. So it's a big win for you, obviously. It's, it's a game you, you, you know, you get a game like this, you get your first win at home, too, which I know we've talked about. Um, that's important, certainly, obviously picking up that victory and getting the 2-1 and one in league play. Um, it's a big win all the way around. You know, it is, and um, winning at home, I mean, we've, you know, we've talked about that, and, you know, I don't want to harp on it. As Matt told me, we're, you know, we got our first win in 2018. So we're only one and one <laughs> That's right. at home. Um, but, you know, in order to compete in the league, you got to win at home, and you got to steal a few road games. And, and I do think if, you know, and I mentioned this in the last time we talked, our, our home schedule is, is the meet. I mean, that's where the top teams in the league are. Uh, they're coming to us which does help us because we're playing at home, but it, it also means we're playing the better ones. We've, we've got, we may have to steal a few on the road and then, and then try to squeak some of these, these tougher games out uh, to kind of keep rising in the league, and that is the goal. We want to be in the, in the top of the league. We want to be playing at home in the A-10 tournament if we're not getting a bye going straight to the Coliseum. And you're going to St. Joe's on Wednesday. Obviously, yeah. that's tough no matter what yeah. their status is. They're very good. Yeah. And, the, you know, I, the, the crazy thing when you look at St. Joe's is their record's really not indicative of what they are because they play everybody in, the, in their right in their area is so good. And, and so it, it, it could be a little skewed. Uh, but they're in, in conference, they're a very, very good basketball team. They're very physical, um, and they're big. Uh, so it, I imagine that it, uh, it's going to be a physical, challenging basketball game on the road. All right, Coach, congratulations. Thanks. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. See you Appreciate Sunday it. against Davidson. Thank you. All right, so they're going to go, as we said, they're going to head up to uh, – uh, Philadelphia, take on St. Joseph's. I think Michaela is going to come over and join us here now. So Michaela Parsons is going to come sit with us. And uh, we'll talk to Michaela. And good to have her over. She joins us now. And let's talk about uh, some of the things that Coach Schaefer just talked about. You're getting at home, and you finally get that win at home. So obviously that's big to get that first home. I know you guys have been looking for that, right? Definitely. It was, <laughs> it was, it was kind of sad. We were kind of like, you know, we were not everywhere else, but we haven't won in our own court. So that's really good to get a first home win. You know, you talk, and you're so close. I mean, you look at the St. Louis game the other night, you're right into it. It's a two-point game in the fourth quarter. Uh, you've had some other close games with the Quinnipiacs and a couple of the other teams late in the game. Today was a little bit different. You were able to get way out in front and hang on to it. So it's much different to be able, I guess, to take that and finish a game from start to finish this time around. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, the game or the practices leading up to this game, we were kind of like, we see where our weaknesses going into the fourth quarter. We kind of get complacent, lose focus, and this game we were kind of like, let's just play the, the whole game, like the first quarter, first half, like all of that, and it ended up coming out in our favor. Well, tonight you had 25, 9 of 14 from the floor. Uh, eight assists and didn't turn the ball over, so what was going well for you tonight? Uh, I don't even know if you didn't have a turnover, but you didn't have one tonight, so we'll knock wood on that one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, the I guess a lot of games in the A-10 now, they, they all know I'm a driver, and they all know I'm going to get trying to get to the basket. So definitely looking for the open shooters, looking for the dump downs, really helped me out this game and, and a few times last game. But I know I'm not the tallest person in the world, so getting to the basket always doesn't happen, so I have to be ready for the next option. <clears throat> Having said that, you're averaging six, almost seven rebounds a game, too, so those guards crash in and, and get those rebounds every now and then. And that also gives you the opportunity to start a transition game, too, if you can get the ball in your hands right away, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit of a transition going back from the playing majority of the two guard to going back to playing some of the one. Right. But I think I, I do like getting the ball in transition and just going, like, the embrace the pace. It's really fun for me coming from a, a team from high school used to run, 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 run. And you've got uh, Jade in there in the post. She came around quite a bit for you tonight. And 6 of 12 from the floor and, and 13 points. So how does that help you to have her down inside when she's performing well and you can dump the ball into that post position? Yeah, it really helped a lot because I, if I didn't get to the basket or if I knew I was going to have a hard time, I knew she was going to be there to rebound or I knew she was going to dump. She, she knows how to do us a, a layup. That's her thing. So... I was hoping that she would finish strong, and she really did today, with the and one. And you're getting the chance to play with uh, with Alex. I know that's important, and we haven't talked about that much here. But to be able to do that, and, and the way she's played at the beginning of the season, and now, of course, we're getting close to that midway point. But uh, she's come on strong, and I know you got to be really having a lot of fun just getting a chance to play with her. Yeah, it's fun, and it also kind of like a – I think it's a good experience for both of us. I get to teach her things that I've experienced, and she gets to tell me, like, what's her insight on things or things that I can do. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So let's make the best of it this year. Thanks, Michaela. We'll let you get over there with uh, the rest of the crew and uh, greet, meet and greet the folks, and good luck at uh, St. Joe's on Wednesday. Thank you so much. All right, that's Michaela Parson joining us here. So uh, we thank her for stopping by, and a, a good contest for her tonight as the Spiders come away with the win 77-51. to 51. Michaela Parson with 25 points, eight assists, no turnovers, four rebounds, nine of 14 from the floor.